Taong 2014, nakipagkasundo ang isang Singaporean company sa isang kilalang Chinese manufacturer mula sa Guangzhou, China to explore new horizons in the motorcycle industry. Ang kanilang mithiin to revolutionize the smaller engine capacity motorcycle segment and produce a new pedigree of motorcycles. Ika nga, bagong idea, bagong produkto. Dito nagsimula ang Fecon Motorcycles. And with that comes a very notable 250cc V-twin engine Neo Classic Scrambler, the FKM Victorino 250i. Sa panahong iba't ibang bagong mga motor ang inilalabas kada paglipas ng mga buwan, bawat isa ay may dalang technological advancement at ang kanilang disenyo ay naaayon sa kung ano ang trend ng kanilang panahon. Futuristic, sporty at talaga namang kamangha-mangha. Ngunit may isang klase ng motor ang di mawawala sa uso. Bawat pagpalit ng siglo, sa bawat pag-ikot ng panahon, tinatangkilik pa rin ang kanyang disenyo. Ika nga, timeless. May luluma pa ba sa isang motor na dinisenyo bilang isang lumang motor? Kaya naman, madaming motorcycle brands ang gumagawa ng classic bikes pero ang specification ay modern na. That is to keep their bikes at par with modern technology. At ito na nga ang ginawa ng Fecon Motorcycles. At ito ang FKM Victorino 250i, isang neoclassic motorcycle na talaga namang kukuha ng inyong atensyon. Hindi ito isang run-of-the-mill classic-looking bike from the casa. Ito ay higit nakakaiba sa iba pang retro bikes in its segment available in our local market. Bakit ba naman hindi? Ito ang bukod tangi motor na mayroong 250cc V-twin engine. What makes this so special is that in this engine size, madalang ka makakakita ng V-twin configuration sa isang small displacement engine. Madalas ito makikita lamang sa malalaking motor ng Harley-Davidson at Ducati. Ngunit ang FKM ay inalagay ito sa kanilang small displacement retro bike at sa napakamurang halaga. Doon palang panalo ka na. Bakit nga ba big deal ang isang V-twin engine? Well, to start with, basically, a V-twin engine has two cylinders sharing the same crankshaft and are arranged in a V configuration. Kilala ang mga ito to produce their peak power and torque at lower engine speeds. What it means is that you get to feel and enjoy the power of the bike more readily at lower RPMs. And with the FKM Victorino 250i, it is equipped with a 250cc 4-stroke air-cooled V-twin engine with a maximum power of 18.1 horsepower mated to a 5-gear manual transmission. It has a claimed top speed of around 130 kph, however, it is an effort reaching that speed. Sobrang vibrate na trying to max out the engine to reach that top speed. But do note, this bike is not built for speed. It is for comfortable cruise in the highways by churning out good torque for one to reach the cruising speed easily at lower RPMs. Doon ito nagkatalo sa ibang motor of similar displacements. And one of the most notable characteristics of a V-twin, at masasabi nating isang napakalaking bentahe nito, ay ang kanyang napakabruskong exhaust note. Very deep and remarkably different from other bikes. The throaty exhaust definitely gives the bike a very muscular appeal. Big bike feels ika nga, something that a one-cylinder or even twin-cylinder engine of the same size can give, even with an aftermarket exhaust. The FKM Victorino offers the looks and the feeling of a real old-school scrambler. Less plastic, all metal. To achieve this old-school look, kadalasan, modified standard bikes are the way to go. But with the Victorino 250i, kung iyong pagmamasdan may igip, para na siyang custom bike right out of the casa. Kakaiba, di ba? You'll already get a classic custom bike look as stock form. 
with rugged dual sport tires on war wheel sets, 17s at the front, and 15s on fat tires at the rear. Keeping up with the old school classic bike look, it maintains that horizontal line from the gas tank down to the seat, but keeping the half end of the bike neat and proportionate, just like how I wanted it in a custom bike. The rear was made tidy by veering away from the dual shocks and going for a non-adjustable monoshock at the rear, giving the Victorino a rather sporty rear end look. The Delta Box cover was made custom look with artistically placed vent holes for accents. Ang ganda talaga tingnan. Even the 13 liter fuel tank was very well shaped with its rather old school gas tank cap that gives a very classic vibe to this bike. Add the fact that several old school accents make the bike stand out like the classic looking taillights atop the well-shaped splash guard at the end, the custom looking skid plate, the front metal splash guard at the front wheel, and the twin stainless pipes that wrap around the engine giving a very unique character to this bike. And do we even need to mention again that the two cylinders of the V-twin engine of the Victorino gives the bike a fully packed engine bay. Wala kang makikita ang awkward and filled spaces that are usually prevalent to custom cylinder bikes that gives the bikes a rather pathetic appearance. Sa Victorino, punong-puno ang engine bay area. Very bulky looking and very muscular. That is why with the Victorino 250i, the big bike feel is very strong with this bike. The lightings on this bike are all incandescent though, from the headlights to the turn signals down to the taillights. Well, makalumang motor nga naman siya, di ba? So in keeping with this vibe, they went old school. Even the round instrument panel is old school with the analog tachometer, but infusing some modern digital screen to reflect the speedometer. Napaka-basic nito kung tutuusin. Very limited ang information to the rider, but the basics only. The handlebar is quite wide with useful crossbar across for rugged function and aesthetics na rin. A set of big bar and mirrors completes the look. Ngunit may provisions pa rin for standard mirrors just in case you prefer the classic standard mirrors. Now, this classic bike gets some new technology infused to it. For one, EFI na to. Less maintenance, less hassle. It should also result to a better fuel management leading to better fuel consumption. Mayroon na rin siyang side stand kill switch for safety. And for your long travels, Meron na rin siyang provision for charging your gadgets with a USB charger sa gilid ng headlight. Unfortunately though, no ABS, no rider modes, no slipper clutch. None of those found in modern modern bikes. But do consider that at this price point, the bike is already quite worthwhile for its price. Siyempre, mas maraming features, mas mataas ang presyo. The key here is to keep a balance of what features can be added while keeping the price affordable. With most components made of steel, it is interesting that the bike only weighs about 128kg dry weight. For a 250cc bike, magaang yun. Also, the bike stands with a seat height of around 787mm, making this bike quite manageable even for short and newbie riders. The riding position is neutral, with a rider triangle being upright. However, one would definitely notice that the handlebar is positioned a bit forward and low, giving that rather sporty feel. The suspension is neither soft nor hard. However, while it was pleasant on smooth city road, it tends to be hard on uneven back roads of Antipolo, offering very little play to absorb the unevenness of the trail. Being a scrambler, I was actually expecting it to give more forgiving ride on off-road situations. An upgrade to a softer rear suspension may be advisable if you intend to bring it on more frequent off-road adventures. Nevertheless, the torque of the bike did not disappoint. The bike has quite sufficient pull to make easy play of the back roads. Malaking tulong na ang power nito can be had on lower RPMs. Mas madali i-manage yun, especially when stuck on loose dirt. Though some things I noticed during the time I had the bike for a whole day ride. Isa na dito, sobrang tigas ng shifting nito. At times, I had to pull the clutch pedal with my foot instead of just hooking it up for upshifting. 
that being said, it was always an effort finding the neutral tuwing nasa stoplight ako. Medyo nakakapagod yun. Likewise, there's quite some vibrations from the bike that I find to be rather unusual. Normally, sa handlebars ko lang nararamdaman ng mga vibrations, especially for single-cylinder engines. But with the Victorino, they are very pronounced even at the tank area. Yung malapit sa iyong crotch area. Lumalakas yung vibration as the rev goes up. Ramdam na ramdam. Actually, it's not even just in the handlebar. Dito sa may bandang fuel tank. Ayan o. Uh, you can definitely feel the vibration of the bike. Now, this is the first time we have tried a V-twin engine, so hindi natin alam kung normal ito. Such vibrations are a bit of a nuisance, especially on long rides, which will definitely make your crotch area numb after a bit of riding. But then, I was told such issues can be remedied during the normal PMS of the bike, so that should be good, right? Overall, the FKM Victorino offers a very endearing option for someone looking for an alternative bike that presents so much character in a bike. A bike that will bring you to the nostalgia of yesteryears but with infusion of modern conveniences. Definitely an option for a fun bike and at a very promising price tag at that. And with that, I guess I'll end my vlog here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do hit the thumbs up and subscribe to Boss TLPH. While at it, do hit the notification bell to be notified of our new uploads. And as I always say, stay awesome, stay safe. See you in the next episode. Bye for now.